All right, if we want to multiply matrices using the TI-36X Pro, uh, first off, we need to enter these matrices into the calculator. So you can see I have two matrices written here. Those are the ones I'm going to multiply. Um, I'll go ahead and turn my calculator on. The matrix menu is right here. Uh, it's in, you can see it in blue text right there. So to get to that, I'm gonna have to press the second key and then uh, well, math, but really in matrix. And there are three tabs here. Uh, you'll use these three different tabs. That, uh, well, this class, you probably won't use math very much, but you'll use names and edit for the purposes of this class. Names is how we actually access the contents of the, uh, how we kind of retrieve the contents of these uh, matrices. And edit is where we put the matrices in there. So I'm going to press the right arrow a couple of times to get over to edit. And now I want to edit matrix A. Um, so first off, um, I'll, with A highlighted here, I'll go ahead and press enter. And I, I will select the size of the matrix. It looks like this is a two by three matrix. There are two rows and three columns, one, two, three. So this is already set up correctly there, two rows and three columns. This is actually a max size. We can go, um, the, the maximum size matrix we can deal with this and with this calculator is a three by three matrix. One limitation of this calculator. Um, and then I'll just enter the numbers in here. So I'll press two, enter. So you can see I'm doing two, five, negative one. So two, five, negative one, four, negative four, zero. Okay. Um, so that is matrix A entered in there and I can go ahead and press second and quit to get back up to my home screen. This is where, you know, you'll do your addition and all that sort of stuff. Um, now I want to go back into matrix. So back into matrix and over to edit again, but this time I'm going to press the down arrow to get to matrix B because I'm going to enter matrix B in here. Press enter. This, in this case, it's a three by two matrix. So I'll press, uh, enter on the two. It's three rows and two columns. One, two, three rows, one, two columns. Uh, hit enter and enter these numbers in here. Three, uh, negative two, three, one, zero, negative one, two. Quit back out to the home screen. Oops. Quit back out to the home screen again. So again, second, then quit. Now is where I'm actually going to want to refer to these matrices to retrieve the contents that are currently in them. So if I was to go into second and then matrix here, if I just press enter on A, what it did is it take that it takes that name of A, that's why it's called the names, that's why the names tab is there right here. Um, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take A and it's gonna plop that down in my home screen. If I was to just press enter here, it would say, well, I'm gonna deal with that matrix. So it's just prints out that matrix essentially. But I wanna take A times B, which I can either do as just A, B, oops, missed, A, B like that. Uh, press enter, this gives me the product. So I have AB equals 2, 4, negative 12, 12. Um, I could have used the, I could have actually explicit, explicitly told it to do multiplication here. So I could have done A and then times B like that. And if you're going to be um, adding or subtracting matrices, you'll want to use the, the actual operators over here. But it's not necessary when we're just doing A times B, um, just like with variables if we put them up to, next to each other without anything between them it just defaults to multiplication. Uh, so we can also do b times a in the same way. I'll just do b a hit enter and this gives me that matrix. So b times a is 8 negative 22, 2, 2, 5 negative 1, 6 negative 13, 1. That's matrix b a. Clearly a b and b a are not the same thing. Uh, we've already, you know, hopefully you've already seen that matrix multiplication is not commutative. You can't just swap the order and get the same thing. This is one example of, of that. Uh, if we want to do scalar multiplication, in other words, just multiplying by a, uh, well, a scalar, uh, the, not a matrix, but just a number. If we want to multiply a matrix by a number, we can just type that in, 3A, um, just like this, 3A. This is, uh, you'll see it's 615, 3A is equal to 6. 15, negative 3, 12, negative 12, 0. And each of these entries is just three times the entries of A. Uh, so that works as expected.